Hello, today is a video on how to take apart this HP Pavilion laptop, which is model 14, so 14-CE0520NA. Uh, product ID is 4XW15EA and then hash ABU. So the problem on this one I'm going to deal with today is something has got stuck into the headphone port. So the headphones are plugged in and then at some point they've got ripped out, leaving the socket inside the laptop. On this one, the screws which are at the front definitely do not look like the original screws. So somebody's been into this machine or just naturally over time, these screws have fallen out and then somebody's replaced them with ones which aren't quite the correct fit. So there are three screws at the front here. And then hidden at the back, underneath these uh, rubber feet, are two more screws. Okay, take a thin blade, a spudger or a uh, credit card which you've um, ground the edge down on so that you can get into the edge of the laptop at the front and gently unclip. If you use a screwdriver for this, and I believe there's the uh, evidence of such on this, there's gouge marks there and there. If you use a screwdriver, you probably will cause a bit of damage to the plastic case. So that's all of the front unclipped. And that side over here, now the left side or my left side. Okay, so the whole thing feels like it's trying to hinge up or can hinge up. So just gently go around the rest, unclipping it, wiggling it a bit and lifting it up. There we go, that's the cover removed. So in here, we've got the CPU fan wireless card, the hard disk or essentially the storage, so it's solid state storage, RAM, processor will be under here, that's uh, BGA soldered onto the board so you can't replace that processor uh, unless you've got a BGA rework station. This bit here is where a uh, NSSD, a serial ATA SSD would be, two and a half inch drive if it had a traditional hard disk, but that's not there. Battery, and over here is the board which has the sound on it. So I think for my repair it's going to be easiest taking this board out and it looks like it's modular. So I'm going to lift up this connector or this uh, black bar here which releases that connector and I'm going to unscrew what looks like three screws to be able to take out this extra board. board is hinging up and there we go. Quite often on these uh, connectors here there's a hole all the way through the back so you, you can quite often just take 
the connector and poke, for example, a bent paper clip all the way through. This one looks like it's got similar, the hole is not in the uh, centre, it's um, got holes either side and then a pillar in the centre, but considering it was in the laptop that side, you can't get any holes here, so I had, did have to take this out of the uh, laptop to get to it. So now let's see what, whether I can uh, push this connector back out of here. There we go, that's got most of that out. I'm just going to now use my finger to take the rest of that out. There we go, that's one uh, headphone, or broken headphone lead uh, jack removed from that socket. So I can put the machine back together and the customer should be happy. So um, I shouldn't have caused any damage in there, it's just unless when, the, when that got broken off it caused some kind of rotational damage. Uh, just poking that out like that was just putting pressure on the end of this pin here, so uh, it shouldn't have caused any further damage to this socket. Before I do the rest of those up, I do want to check that that is lined up with the ports correctly. You get a USB socket or lead, uh, USB stick to make sure that those both work correctly and I've not misaligned them. Okay, put this ribbon cable back in. And that should go down, and this line along here should be flush uh, or straight against this uh, black tab. If it's wonky, then you put the ribbon cable in wonky and make sure that you redo that uh, before you give the machine back. Obviously, test it to make sure you've done it correctly. So, you now put this lid back on. Should just gently clip down around all of the edges. two sneaky hidden screws back. And then the three along the front, which as I say, in my case I'm almost certain these are not the original screws.
there is definitely not right. That one doesn't screw in all the way either. And there we go. That's how to open up and take a broken uh, headphone jack out of an HP Pavilion 14 CE 0520NA laptop. If it's been useful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.